down at a time. If you're watching... We're open till 8 p.m. Yeah, with nice, we think that helps Making your money go the extra mile. First of all, the news information regarding the snow and the ice. We're here for you 24 hours a day on FM, DAB and online. This is Metro Radio. Just gone midday, let's get the latest now from Joe. Yeah, just to bring you some breaking news, we've just heard from Go North East on their Facebook page that they won't plan to suspend their services early this evening. They say any decision to suspend services early will be purely based on safety grounds of both passengers and staff. The decision will only be made once they have a forecast and knowledge of road conditions later today, but at the moment they say there are no plans to suspend their services early. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, it's another bitterly cold afternoon. More heavy snow showers are affecting the North East, around four inches of snow could fall for some places. Ice and snow once again causing problems on the region's roads. The A189 is still closed at Gosford Park southbound. That has also hazardous conditions around Hedden on the Wall on the A69 and also on the A68 at Ellishaw in Northumberland. But local taxi firms have been telling Metro Radio they're putting in the extra hours to get people where they need to be. Katie Thompson's the manager at Gateshead Central Taxis. She says they've ordered in some special vehicles. We've got eight seater buses which are fantastic in the snow, but um, so that we had cars to get around the snow. Got the 15 seaters there, fantastic in the snow as well. We've had brought a whole load of them in and we're busy sort of putting snow tyres on them now. So we're actually managing really well. Well, the metros are running today, but they're facing delays. Trains are delayed as well from Newcastle. The worst affected are the ones heading north, especially to Edinburgh. As for the school closures, they're all up online now. You can see them at metroradio.co.uk. And David Beckham, David Cameron and Prince William have been pulling out all the stops presenting England's final World Cup presentation. The result of who will host the 2008.